Okay, so back where I was at. Let's uh, see what all you got here that's required for hookup to the Sega Master System. If I can get this uh, cord picked up here. It's your power adapter. Sega Model 3025. Do not use any other power adapter other than this. Sega Genesis will not work. As a matter of fact, it will fry your Master System's motherboard, so do not try it. Uh, th this power cord of mine is a little corroded and because of it, it's got a short in it. Like right here on the back of the plug here, by the way, this is what the plug looks like. On the back of the plug, when you plug it into the master system and you turn it on, sometimes it won't turn on unless if you rotate it in some kind of position. It's in a, and it's in a couple of certain positions and then the system will power on itself. I need to get a new uh, power cord. If I could find one on eBay, but other than that, uh, it works just perfectly. You just gotta have it in the right position. But anyway, let's uh, see what else you got here. Um, well, this can untangle here. Ah, here we go. I use this instead of an RF switch for my Sega Master System. It's a composite AV cable. It's a video and left audio, yellow and white. This is what the plug end of it looks like. It can go into the Master System and it can also go into your Sega Genesis. So it's, it's cross compatible. But it gives you better picture quality and better sound. And uh, yes, Right here it is. What do you need for a video game? Well, a controller, of course. And this is the controller. Like I said, it looks similar to an NES, but I actually, when, when I feel of it, it's very comfortable. At the same time, I feel like I'm, I'm playing with a real Sega controller. It doesn't feel at all like a... Uh, 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 Sega, uh, it, it doesn't feel at all like a Nintendo controller. It, it actually feels really comfortable. Anyway, on the controller itself, you got your Sega logo. Uh, sort of got scratched on with red paint. I can't get that off. Right here, it says control pad. Uh, you got up, down, left, right, your diagonal buttons. And wow, this, this is a square D pad. I hate these things. I, it's really unnerving with the square D pad. I, I don't understand why they tried that, but I guess that's probably one of the reasons why the system failed. It was really because of poor marketing on the system and poor marketing, like everyone knows, can kill a console instantly. But anyway, you got your one button here, and the one button doubles as a start button. It uh, feels very nice. Buttons feel comfortable. You got your two button. Now the controller here kind of uh, sounds similar to a Sega Game Gear controller. But anyway, uh, you know, Sega Game Gear controls. But anyway, uh, right here's the little plug. There's also... Uh, a little accessory for your game gear that you can play master system games just the cartridges on it which is called a master gear converter but they're hard to find and um here's the other side accessory for it it's got the same controller plug so i'm not going to even bother showing what the controller plug looks like the light phaser and now this looks really futuristic like a uh, unlike the Nintendo Zapper, and plus it works a little different in terms of detecting light and so forth. And plus the 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 trigger, it feels comfortable, and you don't hear that annoying clicking sound. It's very comfortable. I, I really like the light gun for it. But anyway, let me show you the cartridges. I'm going to review five games. Let's see how much time. I have. Okay, I've got four minutes running. Okay. But anyway. Uh, the games I've got are... 
Well, this is the first ever launch title in the pack-in title. Hang on and Safari Hunt. It's uh, two games in one. Now, there's a little something wrong with the cartridge. What do you think that is? Give you five seconds to figure it out. Okay, time's up. But anyway, there is no label of a game description. There's no picture. There's no, like, artist picture on it. I'll have the cases for these things. Uh, I, I do have the cases, but they're up in storage. I don't even want to feel around with them. Uh, trying to get them in and out of the cases. But anyway, it just says the label. It just shows a label. It just shows the precautions on the back. Why isn't there... Uh, some kind of a label art on it. I mean, were they trying not to be less creative or trying to make it look fancy? I mean, I'm sure the Master System cost a whole lot more than the NES, but dang, you didn't have to, to uh, pull it off of there. But anyway, uh, got Rocky based off of the movie series Rocky. Um... Right here, got Rocky. The arcade classic, Afterburner. Another arcade classic has now become a cult classic, Fantasy Zone. And who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Yeah. But anyway, let's get this thing plugged up uh, into the system. I might have to split it to another part. Um, uh, so other than that, I'll uh, see you in a moment. Okay, I'm going to show you some games on the Sega Master System, but first, I wanted to show you something cool about the Sega Master System. As you can see, there's no cartridge in the cartridge slot, neither is there a card in the game card slot. Uh, hold on a second, let me turn off the light here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to turn on the system without a cartridge or card in the slot and show you something real cool about the Sega Master System. It's one of the first attempts at this. I'm not sure if it's the very first or not, but throw on the system. That's what it looks like when it starts up. And it's a BIOS screen. This is actually amazing. Anyway, it says, welcome to the Sega Master System. To play, just follow these directions, these instructions. Turn off power on power base. Insert card and or cartridge into system. Turn power back on and enjoy. But anyway, I'm turn on the light here. I'm going to show you something. Special tip. Okay. If you hold up and press 1 and 2 on the, on the uh, D-pad here, get the snail maze game now this is on some models of the system but it's uh other than that it's actually quite nice to put on the system you know it's also a good game you know in case if you don't have any uh master system cartridges yet it's quite nice yeah but that's what it looks like Anyway, but anyway, I gotta get going. Uh, stay tuned for the next part. See you next time.